Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting build kit from Knight Rider episode. This week, we will be diving into stages 11 through 14. So enough talk, let's get into it. Like I said, guys, we are back with another exciting Build the Legendary kit from Knight Rider, a die-cast subscription model kit from Fan Home. And this week, we are tackling stages. Let's see if we can get that to focus there for a second. 11 through 14. Uh, one of the things that was interesting, I was out, uh, you know, doing some Christmas shopping and ran into this little ditty. It's the Hot Wheels Knight Rider. And as those of you know, when I finish these kits, I like to set up a little, uh, you know, kind of little display with all things, uh, you know, surrounding the IP. And so that will go great on that display when we're finished. So stage 11 is pretty interesting. This issue... Uh, will help uh, really get started on the chassis and the base of kit. Issue 11 is dedicated to Edward Mulhair, who played Devon on the series. And uh, interesting fact, he was the only cast member besides David Hasselhoff to appear on every episode of the show. So... Uh, with that fun tidbit out of the way, let's jump on over to the build plate and let's get started. So here we go. We have our parts all laid out. We have our chassis center section, the chassis center section cover, our brake line guides, fuel filter, and of course, our DP screws, EM screws, and GM screws. First up, we will be placing the chassis center section cover over the opening in the chassis center section. And it just fits right, right in there. Should fit fairly flush once we have our screws in. And we will grab a couple of GM screws here. And since this is going into metal, we are going to dip that in our trusty three in one lubricating oil, which helps it glide right into that metal without stripping the screw and lock in there nice and tight. And then we'll be doing our other screw here. And while we're doing that, it should be interesting to note that uh, Edward Mulhair was born in Cork, Ireland in 1923. He died May 24th, 1997 in Los Angeles. All right, with that one in there, We'll just tighten this other one real quick, make sure it's tightened all the way down. We are going to jump over to one of our brake guides. And so we'll flip the center section over and we will align the brake guide. There's a little dent on here with the post. It should just it on there nice and snug and we will be attaching that with another GM screw
just going to try to align it there. And so next up, we will repeat that procedure for the second brake line guide. And again, we will attach this using a GM screw. Thank you for joining us today, and if you haven't already, smash that like button. It really does help the channel. We appreciate it. And if you like these videos or talking about retro or home arcades, be sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And that uh, second brake guide fit nice and firm, and you can see it flush up against there, but this first one is kind of, doesn't sit exactly flush. I'm gonna loosen it here just a little bit, see if I can reposition that and then tighten it back down. All right, next up we have our fuel filter. And this little puppy is pretty tiny. It's got two little plastic pieces that will slide into a couple holes on the center section. Uh, this is gonna be a little tough to get in there. It's designed to fit really snug and this little piece is tiny in my big old meaty fingers. So I have to bear with me as I wrestle with this a bit, uh, trying to get this aligned in those little tiny holes. And hopefully I guess correctly on the direction here. It uh, isn't isn't obvious which way it should go. with it here it's, it's not want to go in there real smooth so let's try again here just love these little tiny pieces and trying to pour some into those little holes. If you've missed an earlier episode of this build video and you are interested in this series, I do have a playlist created where you can go through uh, from the beginning and we will continue this series throughout the completion of this kit. I also have uh, another series running alongside this for building the uh, Enterprise from Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, if you're interested in that, be sure to check that out. And here we are going to attach a BP screw to hold that fuel filter in place. Next up, we are going to be attaching our chassis to the front axle. And we're gonna use a couple EM screws for this section.
this one fits nice and snug on here, which is nice. Always nice to have that. screws that we uh, place further up the center chassis here that will uh, fully lock this in place. For this one. One nice thing with these uh, issues, they all come with one extra screw of each type, so I make sure to save those because you never know when you'll drop one of these tiny things and lose it or uh, strip it out. So, always handy to keep those extras. And with that, we are complete. There is the front axle assembly connected to the center section. All right, that was a quick one. So we will now jump over to issue 12. And issue 12 is dedicated to the episode of Just My Bill. So everything you wanted to know about how Michael Knight helped the Senator out uh, is contained in this issue. Uh, you know, you find out some secrets about uh, Kit partially being assembled uh, at Stanford University, all that fun behind the scenes stuff. But let's get back over to the build plate and start on stage 12. Here we go, we got our parts laid out. We have our front left wheel arch, which we will start with. The front left wheel arch support frame, battery, battery base, two battery terminals, and some AM and CP screws. So we're first gonna connect up the holes in the front left wheel arch to connect our front left wheel arch support to the front left wheel arch. And once those are lined up, we will be using the two AM screws to attach that in there. And again, always go back to that three in one lubricant for these metal pieces. And that's nice and snug in there. A few of the issues in this month's kit are pretty small like this one. Very few parts, which is nice, it helps uh, the process go a little quicker. We'll just tighten up this last screw. And there you have it. So next up, we will take the base of the battery and the battery itself, and we are going to connect that to the front left wheel arch. Again, these will slide right onto this post, and then we will connect them up with a CP screw. And that'll hold that battery box down there snug. Uh, 
Thankfully, they include these handy magnetic screwdrivers when you get this kit, because uh, keeping these little tiny screws on the end uh, can be a challenge without those magnetic tips. And we'll just tighten that up. And last but not least for this stage, we will connect our two battery terminals. And these will just slide right in, no screws needed. And so they'll just take a little bit of force to get them down in there snug. There's the first one. And there we go. There is our completed front wheel arch. Next up. Next up will be stage 13 and stage 13 is dedicated to the episode titled Not a Drop to Drink. This was episode seven of season one in which Michael Knight teams up with some ranchers to fend off a greedy landowner exciting stuff and in stage 13 here we'll be working on the left wheel arch and i told you wrong <laughs> we will be doing the left shock absorber so let's head over to the build plate and get to it if We've got our parts all laid out. We have our front left shock absorber, front left shock absorber top mount, the front left shock absorber rod, spring, windshield washer fluid tank, the windshield washer fluid tank bottom, wheel <laughs> windshield washer fluid tank cap, and of course we have our screws, CPEM, GM, and MM screws. Up first, we are using the front left wheel assembly we just completed in stage 12 and are now going to attach the front left shock absorber. And to do that, we're using three GM screws. Got our trusty three in one. All right, just one more screw here, and we'll have this piece locked in. Next up, we're going to take the front left shock absorber rod and we're going to attach that to the wheel well here. And we're going to do that with an MM screw. be a little tricky because this rod wants to turn it does have a little flange on the end of the rod that's supposed to help hold it in place but it does not do a great job we'll try to get this to tighten down enough still feels a little wobbly try to 
tighten it again, but that might be as good as we're able to get it. Alrighty, next up, we're going to do our windshield washer fluid tank bottom and the tank itself. And those will be held in place by a single CP screw from the bottom, much like the battery box was. All right, now we're going to put on the front left shock absorber top mount and the windshield washer fluid cap. And both of these pieces will just click in. There's no need for a screws or anything like that. We'll just get them into place and hope they stay there. <laughs> Now for the fluid washer fluid cap. And there we go. Tighten that up a little. All right, next we're gonna take this wheel assembly and we are going to connect it to our chassis. Let me grab the chassis here. For this step, we're gonna have to um, slide that rod into the shock absorber connected on the wheelbase uh, and then of course fit the spring between the two so this will be take a little aiming to get this right I'm gonna make sure to keep our steering rod out of the way so we can access that for a later step future issue. Right, so we'll put the spring here on the shock absorber rod and try to keep that from falling off as we try to slide it into the shock absorber. Probably should have had the tweezers out for this part, but you know how it goes. Ever have everything you need ready. <laughs> And of course, as I predicted, it just keeps sliding off. So let's try this again. Third time's the charm, I guess. pushes in place and it should line up here there's a few holes that we can make sure everything's aligned there we, go. we are going to connect this with two em screws here at the front and then a gm and em screw at the back so let's first start with these em screws on the front here
appreciate you sticking around for the video. Looks like we're getting coming up here on the 30 minute mark. These always take a little bit, but uh, this month's issues were a bit smaller. So hopefully this isn't as long as a video as some of the other ones have been. And we'll attach this last EM screw to the front. We'll be able to flip this thing around or over and finish the bottom. thing over and go to the rear attachment and again here we're going to be uh, working with one em screw and one em screw Kind of tough to see where this GM screw is supposed to go. The GM screw is pretty obvious. The GM screw, not not so much. Let's just start with our GM screw. Get that one out of the way. Appreciate you watching. Like I said, again, if uh, you're enjoying this, really appreciate it. Hit the like button. Be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these model kits. Like I said, they're 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 a combination of die cast and plastic. Um, but mostly die cast. These are, end up being real heavy when they're finished, and you know, they run about 15 inches long. Uh, the, the car will, of course, it comes with LEDs and electronics, so it lights up and the dash lights up, all that fun stuff. Um, earlier -ish episode, we connected that front light assembly and got that test lit. You want to check that out and see the iconic front headlight kit working. Uh, it was all completed. And so it looks like this GM screw just goes in sideways, actually, in here. So. With that, that will complete our attachment of the front left wheel well to the chassis. Next up is our stage 14. And again, we have another issue dedicated to uh, an episode of the series. This one is episode eight, No Big Thing. And this one centers around a corrupt police force that arrests Devin Archer for a traffic violation. And of course, Michael and Kit, as you know, have to save the day. So now that we have that all taken care of, let's head back to the build plate. We have our parts all laid out and ready to go. So in our part list, we have the front right wheel arch, the front right wheel arch support, an oil tank, an oil tank bottom, oil tank cap, and AM and CP screws. This should be a, a quick one, is very much the same as issue 12, just on the other side. So we will start by attaching the wheel arch support to the wheel arch itself using two AM screws. And the support will just fit right in here. There's a couple guide holes that it goes right in.
Alrighty. That first one tightened in place. It's time to hit the second one to lock this piece in. Next up is our oil tank, and much like the battery box, the tank bottom and the tank itself will slide right in over this post, and then we will go from the bottom and connect them up with a CP screw. I told you this last one would go pretty quick. And lastly, we are going to connect our oil cap. And again, no screws needed. This will just snap into place. Push that in there. And get it to fit, that is. go just turn that a little bit and we are completed that is the end of stage 14 i guess we'll have to wait until a future issue to connect that up to the chassis so i wanted to thank you all for joining us again for another exciting build video of the legendary kit from knight rider by fan home be sure to check us out on the next one and look for the next episode of Build the Starship Enterprise from the Next Generation. And be sure to check us out every Saturday at 9.30 as we go live and talk home arcade, retro video games, and all that fun stuff. So until the next time, have fun.